Hi, so this video is supported by Reclaimant, the biggest and best scrapyard in Kent. Hi everybody, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you will know we have this. It's a catalytic converter given to me by my friends out at Reclamet, and I want to change this into a heating device for the up and coming winter. So, first things first, let's cut it open. Okay, I've cut around all the sides, I've cut the extra pipes off and let's lift it off. There we go. That is a ceramic. And the catalyst is contained in there. So here is the centre section. It's a ceramic block and it's in a square honeycomb structure and they make these out of a can of glass actually. Then they put what's called a wash coat on it, which contains things like aluminium to give it a rough surface, and also the catalyst salts. Now, the catalysts in here are predominantly um, platinum, palladium, rhodium, and they're really expensive things, which is why these can be really expensive. Now, they vary from sort of about £7 to about £1,000. You can bet your bottom of a dollar this is a £7 one, but it will still do the job we want it because it's got the catalysts on there. Now, when you look for um, flameless heaters on the net, what you'll get is an awful lot of ration packs, uh, ration pack heaters, and they're basically iron oxide or magnesium and iron reacting to heat the food. But there are a whole bunch of flameless heaters being sold based on this principle of using a catalyst. And these things, they need to get hot, sort of the three to 400 degrees centigrade region, and that's what the exhaust gases do when they're in a car. For us, we need to get them hot, and once they're hot, they will combine the fuel with the oxygen to create heat, but without a flame, and that's really cool. Now, in the room heaters that you buy as a commercial heater, what they use is an electric element. They put an electric element in there, like a cooker element, they heat that up to the temperature, and once it's up to temperature and going, that gets turned off. In video 1713, we made a catalyst. Unfortunately, of course, it used potassium dichromate, which is quite seriously horrendous. But this stuff you can get from a, um, an exhaust that's been thrown away, a visit to the scrapyard and beg one at the lower price, and you'll get yourself the whole catalyst that we can turn into a room heater. And of course, that's what we're going to do. Now, to make that a heater, we need to bring together three things. We need fuel, we need oxygen, and we need heat. We can do that once it's going, then we can turn the heat off, and it will just continue to go. Okay, we need to cut off a section about two, two and a half centimetres thick, and we can do that with an angle grinder. So the reason this works is because the job of a catalytic converter in your car is to burn any unburnt or partly burnt fuel. So it'll burn any fuel. Now, we are going to use uh, alcohol, ethanol. You quite often see these done with propane because the propane doesn't need any vaporisation. We're going to have to vaporise the ethanol before it can go up these channels and then be burnt by the catalyst. And to help that, what we've got is a piece of our carbon felt. Now I'm using this because it'll get warm and it will uh, help with that evaporation. But any wicking material will do that helps in the distribution of the fuel to the underneath of the catalyst. And then I've got a piece of stainless steel mesh. So the stainless steel mesh allows the air to get in there, which remember is one of the key components we need. Then we've got our spreader and then we've got our catalyst. And actually that is a catalytic burner, a flameless catalytic burner. If we want something more elegant, obviously we'd need to put maybe a, a electric heater in there to get the whole thing going. But we can get it going just by lighting it. So this, incidentally, is an amazing wicking material. It wicks like you wouldn't believe. So we put a load of ethanol on there and we can get it going. Now the ethanol will burn and we'll see a flame. But when that flame dies, then the... Um, so the catalyst here will be hot enough to carry on with the reaction. So we just let the ethanol burn until that catalyst gets hot. 
see when it's burnt itself out, there's no flame. But <laughs> there's still lots of heat coming from there. And if we add more fuel, you can actually hear it hissing through the galleries. That's a lot. This, right there, it's really cool. This is really hot. I mean, there's not a lot to show you because it's a flameless heater, but the heat there is tremendous. <laughs> you have to try this. You would not believe how much heat that gives out. And, and you can't see anything. As long as we keep adding fuel and oxygen, that is going to stay hot. That's amazing, actually. <laughs> anyway, that is how you go about turning a car exhaust into a flameless room heater. If we're an actual product, of course, we've got to cut a lot of these and put them into a block, and then maybe we'd put a um, cooker unit in there, one of those rings, to get it to temperature, but... Oh, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> That's all we would need to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.